For years, basketball fans and sports analysts have been debating who's the GOAT. Most have been consistent in their choice, but in recent years, some of those answers have changed with the rise of new NBA superstars and modern day legends. It brings the question of who is the real GOAT. Welcome to Sports R Us. Today we're going to talk about the GOAT. Not making a clear selection, but breaking them down by decades. Before we get started, smash that like button and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well, so you can be notified every time we post a video. We create videos like this all the time. The first time I heard the acronym GOAT, meaning the greatest of all time, was from an LL Cool J album in 2000, with the acronym being the name of the album. Ever since then, we've mostly heard one name come up when discussing the GOAT of basketball. Self-proclamations only being heard in the boxing world. I am the greatest. Today we're going to break down the goats by decade, going from the 1960s to the 2010s. With so many great players over the decades in the NBA, it was hard but easy to narrow down this list. Let's dive into the goats, or what I like to call the goats of the NBA. During his playing career, Wilt Chamberlain was known for being a stat stuff, putting up the most unrealistic numbers in games. We've all heard about the 100 points he scored in the game on March 2nd, 1962 against the New York Knicks. The only player that even thought about coming that close was the great Kobe Bryant, scoring 81 points in 2006 against the Toronto Raptors. You can ask Jalen Rose how that went down. 81. Throughout his time in the NBA during the 1960s, Wilt Chamberlain won one NBA championship, won four regular season MVP awards, won the Rookie of the Year in 1960, was named to seven All-NBA First Teams, won seven NBA scoring and rebound titles all in the same decade. Not to mention being a 10-time NBA All-Star, Wilt completely dominated his opponents every single game. Throughout his time in the 1960s, Wilt averaged 34.1 points per game, 21.7 rebounds per game, and 4.5 assists per game. This is why he's crowned in my book as the GOAT of the 1960s. Known for having one of the most unstoppable shots in NBA history with the skyhook, clearly the reason he holds the league's record for most points scored in a career, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar burst onto the NBA scene in 1969 after winning three consecutive NCAA titles as a member of the UCLA Bruins. He would continue his dominance in the NBA during the 1970s and thereon. During his time in the 70s, Kareem won one NBA championship alongside NBA great and walking triple-double Oscar Robinson in which Kareem took home the finals MVP. He won five regular season MVP awards, nine all-star game appearances, six all-NBA first team selections, three NBA all-defensive first team selections, rookie of the year in 1970, two scoring championships, and a rebounding championship in 1976. Kareem transformed the center position forever. His longevity and consistency rivals only that of LeBron James. Throughout his time in the 1970s, Kareem averaged 28.2 points per game, 14.3 rebounds per game, and 3.4 blocks per game, which crowns him in my book as the GOAT of the 1970s. Magic is known for lighting up any room that he walks into, and after being drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers in 1979, he did just that. He was instantly a fan favorite within his first year of playing, winning the championship and finals MVP in his rookie season, the only player in NBA history to obtain that feat. Magic single-handedly changed the point guard position in the NBA. For starters, he's 6'9", and could pass the ball like an and one player. His style of play catapulted the Lakers into the Showtime era. Magic was an extreme competitor and winner. During the 1980s, Magic won five NBA titles, three finals MVPs, two regular season MVPs, nine NBA All-Star selections, seven All-NBA First Team selections, a four-time assist leader, and a two-time steals leader. Consistency was the key for Magic. Throughout his time in the 1980s, Magic averaged 20 points per game, 11.5 assists per game, and 1.9 steals per game, which crowns him in my book as the GOAT of the 1980s.
Widely regarded as the undisputed GOAT in most circles, Michael Jordan's dominance was most certainly felt all throughout the 1990s. Now an argument can be made for him being the GOAT of the 1980s, but we'll let Magic keep that. After being drafted third in 1984 by the Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan single-handedly changed the NBA forever. The way we shoot, the way we walk, the way we chew gun while playing, the way we wore our basketball shorts, and of course the shoes we wear. The Air Jordans made their debut on April 1st, 1985. They're still some of the most sought after shoes till this day. Throughout his time in the 1990s, his airness, the Jumpman, MJ, or whatever you like to call him, won six NBA titles. That's two three-peats in a matter of eight years. Six finals MVPs, four regular season MVP awards, seven all-star selections, seven all-NBA first team selections, seven scoring titles, a two-time steals leader, and a seven all-NBA defensive team selection. He was also a member of the greatest team assembled, being a member of the Dream Team in 1992. His Chicago Bulls team in 96-97 held the greatest record of 72-10 until the Golden State Warriors broke that record in 2016. They lost in the finals though. He completely dominated the 1990s, leaving notable Hall of Famers ringless in the process. Throughout the 1990s, MJ averaged 29.9 points per game, 6.3 rebounds per game, and 2.1 steals per game, crowning him in my book as the GOAT of the 1990s. During the 2000s, there were plenty of great players in the NBA, many of whom have gone on to go into the Hall of Fame, none of which outshine both Shaq or Kobe. The Orlando Magic drafted Shaquille O'Neal in 1992. As soon as he stepped on the floor, he became the most powerful basketball player of all time, brutally dominating his opponents game by game. Kobe Bryant was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets in 1996, but was traded on draft night to the Los Angeles Lakers. His first couple of years in the league was rough, but by the 2000s, that all changed. By the year 2000, both Shaq and Kobe were members of the Los Angeles Lakers. They successfully completed a three-peat by 2002 and were seen in most people's eyes as the greatest one-two punch of all time. Throughout his time in the 2000s, Shaq won four NBA titles, three finals MVPs, a regular season MVP, nine all-star selections, seven all-NBA first team selections, three all-NBA second defensive team selections, and a scoring title in 2000. On the other hand, Kobe Bryant won four NBA titles, a finals MVP award, a regular season MVP award, 10 All-Star Team Selections, 7-time All-NBA First Team Selections, 7-time All-NBA Defensive First Team Selections, and a 2-time scoring title. Although Shaq's dominance was felt more during the beginning of the 2000s and Kobe the latter part of the decade, choosing one between the two became hard. During the 2000s, Shaq averaged 21 points per game, 9.9 .9 rebounds per game, and 1.9 blocks per game. Kobe averaged 28.4 points per game, 6.3 rebounds per game, and 5.2 assists per game, crowning them both as the GOATs of the 2000s. Marked as the chosen one before his NBA debut, LeBron James exceeded expectation after being drafted by the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2003 with the first overall pick. Playing so well early in his career, a strong case can be made for him being the GOAT of the 2000s. LeBron revolutionized the small forward position with out of this world abilities to pass and his brute force. LeBron is the perfect blend of physicality and finesse. During the early part of the 2010s, LeBron took his talents down to South Beach. He went on a historically fun and entertaining run with Miami alongside with Chris Bosh and his partner, Dwayne Wade. In the 2010s, LeBron went to eight consecutive finals, something that hadn't been seen or heard of since the Celtics of the 1960s, clearly illustrating his presence and dominance in this decade. The LeBron effect, if he's on your team, you have a chance. If not, you may get swept. During the 2010s, LeBron won three NBA championships, three finals MVPs, two NBA regular season MVPs. He was selected to 10 All-Star games, nine first team all NBA selections, and four first team all defensive NBA selections. His 2016 NBA championship team Cleveland Cavaliers were the first team in NBA history to come back in the finals from a 3-1 deficit. 
LeBron's commitment to his health and conditioning is what has helped him throughout the 2010s, rumored to spending a million dollars a year on his health. During the 2010s, LeBron averaged 26.4 points per game, 7.7 rebounds per game, and 7.1 assists per game, crowning him in my book as the GOAT of the 2010s. Thanks for watching. Comment down below who you think is the real GOAT or if you agree with any of my choices. Thanks for watching. Sports R Us.